guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I am super excited because I have never been one of those people to be able to look at something like a shirt or just a random item and get inspiration from it. But for the very first time, scrolling through Facebook and an ad comes up um, from the children's place and I think this is like kids pajamas or something. Um, but I saw it and I thought not only would my kiddos look adorable in that, but that would make a really cute tumbler. So this is a first for me and I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you all the image. I took a screenshot and I literally wrote tumbler. <laughs> so I would remember. Um, but these are the little jammies. Super cute. Um, this is not an ad for children's place, by the way. <laughs> but that's where I got the inspiration from. And I'm really excited. So for this tumbler, I'm using a 20 ounce skinny from Courtney's Customs Blanks. And what I did, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of a review on a, a new product that I used. Um, when I prepped this tumbler the other day, it was raining like really bad outside, so I couldn't go outside and spray paint, and I didn't wanna spray paint in my shed. So I used Prime Time, and I don't know if maybe I just didn't wait long enough in between coats, because it says to wait like 30 minutes to an hour or something in between coats, and I'm just, I don't have that kind of patience within me, <laughs> so I think I just didn't wait long enough. Um, but I definitely prefer spray paint. That is just me. If I did something wrong and y'all have any tips because I do have quite a bit of this left, um, please let me know. But what I did was I painted it white and then when I went to epoxy the tumbler, I added this amazing glow in the dark mica powder called Stardust. I don't know if it'll ever focus. There we go. From the glitter grind. Um, it is a different glow powder than I used in my black flame candle tumbler. Um, that one kind of went on like completely clear. You couldn't even tell it was there. And then it glows blue in the dark. This one changes your epoxy, makes it green, makes your tumbler green because this did start off white. But guys, this glows so dark. Hang on, I'll show you. Look how bright. It even like makes my face shine. It's so bright. <laughs> I love it. Okay, anywho. I am going to try my darndest to make this tumbler look like those jammies. And so I figured I would just go ahead and make the whole thing, this glow powder, and then make a peekaboo out of it. So I'll make sure to put links to everything I'm using down in my description. But for the files, I found, I'll, I went to Etsy and I typed in creepy or scary eye SVG. And this one really stuck out to me. There was like 16 different versions of eyes. Um, but the shape of this one was perfect for me. So... It was a like full collared transparent background SVG image, but whenever I uploaded it to Cricut Design Space, instead of uploading it as a print then cut, I just uploaded it as a cut. And I kind of picked it apart and I, like this is the, the main shape of the eye. These are the pupils I'll be adding in later. And then this is like the collared part of the eye. So this main part right here, I'm going to be using for a peekaboo. And then once we get the spray paint on, peel these off, I'll be adding the other elements of the eye. And I might take like a silver um, Arteza pen over here and outline the eye just to make them a little more prominent. And then this bat file I also got from Etsy. I used it in my Halloween Milky Way video. So I just used the same bats. They all come like individually. They didn't come as like one big piece. And I just resized a bunch of them to just some random sizes that I think would fit well around the tumbler. So now that I've pretty much ran you through everything, let's get to work. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is just pretty much pick the spot that I want my eyeballs to go onto. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those onto some transfer tape and apply them where I want them. I always get a lot of questions about my transfer tape. Um, this is not technically transfer tape. This is clear laminate from Family Dollar. <laughs> um, you get like a big old roll of it for like $4.99 and it lasts forever and it works fantastic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the best looking spot, which is about right here, I think. All right, so now it kind of looks like an alien. It's kind of cute. But what I'm going for is the picture that I showed you. So if you can see, I know it's probably not the best view on camera, um, but it kind of looks like 
the top of it is black and it goes down to a dark gray so I'm gonna take this outside of course I'm gonna take y'all out there to see but I'm gonna be spray painting just below I think the eyeballs black and then I'm gonna take a darker gray and kind of ombre up with it Okay, so now that the paint is dry I'm gonna set it down here on a soft towel um, because you know even though the paint is dry it is still very like delicate so I don't want to scratch it up on anything so now I'm going to remove these little eyeballs and reveal that glow-in-the-dark mica powder under it and I'm trying to be so careful because I really don't want to scratch up the paint even though Lord knows I'm probably gonna slip and do it anyway Alright, so there we have that. Now it's time to apply the inside to these eyeballs. And I'm going to try to do it as carefully as I can because I don't want to remove that black paint. So this piece of laminate, I have been using it for a while so it's not as sticky as a fresh piece, but it's still pretty darn sticky. So I'm actually going to turn this around this way. There we go. Now I can see a little better. Also, I don't know if y'all noticed, I'm sure you did, I was struggling with that gray spray paint. It was getting clogged up on me or something. Alright, so I think... Alright... About right there. Please don't peel up my paint. Please don't peel up my paint. Easy, 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 easy. Sweet. Okay. So now, it's going to have glowing red eyes, and I'm going to add the pupils, too. Um, pupils, I mean, you know, it's optional. I just feel like it looks cool. And it draws a little more attention to the eyeballs. Now we've got some mean looking eyes on there. Now this next part is going to be, let me pull up the picture again for you guys so you can see. See how the bats are just kind of, if you can, I know camera version probably sucks, but there's a lot of bats kind of like collaged around the bottom. Similar to what I did with my Halloween Milky Way when I used these bats, I am just going to place them by hand. Um, much less chance of, you know, my paint peeling up from transfer tape. So I'm gonna speed through that with you guys. I'm literally just picking them up with my hands and placing them in random spots. I didn't press record. I pressed play on my Netflix and I didn't press record. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But literally all I did was just put the bats down in random places. Um, some of them overlapped, that was fine. But I think this turned out pretty cool. I am going to put some epoxy over this and come back after a couple of coats to show you guys the finished result. Because, I mean, this is it. That's all it was. So after some epoxy, this is what we have. And let me turn off all my lights so you can see just the eyes. Ooh, look how cool. I absolutely love it. So just to backtrack everything I did, I painted, I base painted this um, 20 ounce straight tumbler from Courtney's Customs Blanks. Um, I base painted it with Primetime. This is from Counterculture DIY. And then I put some of this glow powder called Stardust from the Glitter Grind into my epoxy and covered the entire tumbler. 
once that was cured so just you know the next day um, is when I started filming I came in here and did the process of the peekaboo with the eyes I will make sure to put this file that I got from Etsy down in the description as well as the bats I put the bats all the way around it um, put the eyes down spray painted an ombre of black and dark gray took the largest part of the eyeballs off put in those middle pieces covered them with bats down here at the bottom and then added epoxy so it was a really super cute simple tumbler and um, I'm really super happy with it let me pull up the picture that I was referencing and put these side by side so you can see so here is my inspiration and here is the tumbler let me know what you guys think and before I go like always I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day and today's quote is what lies behind you and what lies in front of you pales in comparison to what lies inside of you and that was said by Ralph Emerson that's all I have for you guys today let me know what you think if I successfully recreated the look of those cute little kids jammies and if you guys have any questions please feel free to comment don't forget to subscribe be kind love one another and I'll see you in the next one bye